In today's video, I'll be doing some more spring decorating. I know we're not quite in the spring season, you know, officially, but we are starting to have some spring-like days here in Ohio, which is awesome. I love spring, it's my favorite season. And I'm gonna take you outside before we start decorating and just kind of show you what it sounds like. Like the birds are starting to sing more in the morning and it's just uh, so cheerful. Now, of course, I know this is all subject to change. You know, we're in Ohio after all, but gonna enjoy it while it's here. The first thing I'll be working on is this picture frame I picked up in a thrift store. I'm gonna be removing all of the backing, the mats and the picture in it. And you guys know me when I decorate for the different seasons, I really like to use things I already have on hand or a good thrift store bargain, which is the case here. And what attracted me to this frame was, or to this picture, was the frame. I really, I kind of like the color of it, although I plan to lighten it up. And I like the size of it. I want something to hang above the sofa. And I really wanted to fill up that space. And this is a pretty good size frame. And the price was right for me, so I grabbed it. And now I'm glad I did. It's been a while that I've had it. I plan to create a vintage botanical poster of sorts to put into the frame. And here I'm just cutting up some of my decor transfers, my florals, and I plan to place them you know, onto the poster, which is actually the back of the original print that was in the frame. And then I plan to add words you know, describing each image. And to do that, I'll be running parchment paper through my printer, printing out the words in reverse. That way, if I transfer them onto the poster, they'll be right or in the correct form. That was really the only way I could think of to get words on it because I think you know a botanical poster wouldn't be complete without words and even maybe some numbers. To lighten up this frame, I plan to just run the sander over it. I don't want to deal with any chemicals. I can see as I'm starting to sand here, I'm not going to be able to get all of the stain in the crevices, but I think that'll just bring out the character in the frame. I'm really liking the color that it's turning out to be. There were three mats in this frame and I plan to use one of them to frame my poster and I'm gonna paint it. I'm gonna try to match it as close as I can to the color of the poster. Thank you. 
As I'm decorating in our home for the spring season, I ended up going over to the cottages around this time and redoing the mantles. They had still been in the Valentine's Day or February mode. Definitely time to bring some spring cheer into those. And in case you're new here, we have two little cottages that we rent out. They're called Apple Blossom and Sparrow's Nest. And the whole place is Old Orchard Cottages. It sits on top of a hill with beautiful scenery. And I do have links down below in the description box, Airbnb links, if you want to check those out. But we've been so blessed with the many bookings that we get, uh, especially most of them from you guys, people that are connected here through YouTube. Uh, thank you for that. And the things I'm using here to decorate with are just, again, items I had on hand and you've probably seen before, but hopefully I can give someone an idea, you know, on maybe styling a mantle and especially one with a TV hanging above it. It's always a little bit harder for me. You, of course, can't add, you know, tall items. I have to stick with maybe florals and shorter things, but hopefully we can get them looking spring-like at least. Since we are decorating for spring, I'm gonna jump in here and show you a few of our new products we have on the Etsy shop. But we have these adorable wooden beads that MB is making. Um, I think they turned out great. They're so fitting for the Easter season, just pretty pastel colors mixed with natural wood. We do still have some egg banners in stock. They're gonna be discounted since I wanna get them into people's hands in time for the Easter season. I think they turned out so cute. In front of me here, I have the prettiest colored jars. And unfortunately, we could only get a certain amount. We went back to buy more and they were gone. So what we have is what we'll sell. And these are all poured by Amy with the most amazing scents. Uh, the pink one is cherry blossom. And then we have a citrus agave poured into this pretty blue color. The yellow one is lemon cream. We have a blueberry cobbler and then a lavender vanilla. Honestly, I'm not sure which one I'd choose to be my favorite. I think they all smell amazing. This isn't really spring related, but my cousin Susie has been making completely natural soap. Like all the coloring, every ingredient here is completely natural. And I love that idea and they smell so good. Just sitting here having them in front of me, I wish I could get the smell to you. But she did add five new scents in this line. So make sure to check those out. And then we also have a few new scents in this style. We've been selling a lot of these spring wooden cutouts. Um, I think these mushrooms are always adorable. And of course the eggs and the bunnies. Um, I like everything. A cross is very fitting for the Easter season. We now have a walnut version of these peep bunny magnets. I think they're so cute. They almost look like chocolate bunnies. We have a limited amount of these pretty linen pillow covers. I love how they turned out. They have an envelope back for easy removal of the insert. And we also have a few new balances for windows. So as you can see, lots of different items that are fitting for the spring season on the Etsy shop. Make sure to head on over and check it out. And let's not forget all of the candles have free shipping right now. Many wonderful scents. Now let's get back to the video. So I'm ready to decorate my mantle shelf here and I thought I'd jump in here and kind of explain what I want to do with it. On the floor in front of me here, I have different items I want to try to use. I have anything from antiques to thrift store finds. I even have some fake greenery and a real live ivy plant. Uh, I think I have enough lighting here that I'm going to try it to see if I can have a live plant on here. I'm sure I can soon tell if he'll like it or not. Uh, but I plan to try to incorporate these items uh, on here. I like to work with different you know, textures, different sizes when doing a space like this. 
And sometimes when I work in this space, I do get questions about this mantle, like is it an actual fireplace? And it's not, it's just a fake uh, thing that I made years ago. Basically wanted a fireplace mantle to decorate. I thought that would be fun and I would love having a fireplace. We've already talked about it, but we, we've just never gotten around to seeing if we could actually do it because there is a chimney behind the wall here. I'm almost thinking, you know, it could, we could have a vented fireplace in there, but maybe someday. But basically I just used old barn wood and kind of set it up there against the wall and painted it. And then I created these little doors to cover the opening where the fireplace would be. So of course the first items I'll be adding are my tall items that will stand against the wall in the back. And speaking of the wall, that is also just a faux shiplap strips of wood that I had added years ago over the drywall just to get that shiplap look. I do get questions about that too. And the color is a pretty white color called spectral. And this shutter here, I should mention, has been numerous different things in our house. At one point it was a brown, just a plain brown shutter. I think there was another one attached to it and I had it hanging behind the sofa uh, for a number of years actually. And then I tore it apart and used it as a table. There's still filthies on the bottom here. I had it as a centerpiece for our kitchen table, had applied a white glaze to it and then I added this little embellishment and I have since painted it white and now it's gonna be on the mantle again. I had used it, I think, over Valentine's Day. Um, it's been up here before uh, where it's gonna be now. And this door I picked up in an antique mall. I thought it's so pretty. It has some cracks over it and then this glass knob really caught my eye. I love antique pieces like this. And you probably remember seeing this frame in a recent video. I had picked it up in a thrift store. So the next items here are thrift store finds. And I didn't get a video of this, but this greenery was twice as big and it was embedded into a cement pot. I actually ended up cutting, cutting it out like with a saw. I couldn't, you know, pull it out. But I do want the challenge of trying to make it look a little more real. Um, you know, we like our fake greenery to look real, right? And I, I saw a few tips online of things you can do to, to try to get that look. So I'm gonna try it. And if it turns out, I'll put it in this pot and probably display it on a few books there on the right side. So when I looked it up on how to make, you know, faux greenery look more authentic, some people said applying some hairspray to it will help, like it'll actually shine up the leaves more, making them look alive and real. So I'm gonna try that. And if it doesn't work, I thought I could always use a clear coat like a spray paint, but that's pretty smelly. And I thought I'm gonna try the hairspray first, but I would definitely, you know, resort to that if need be. We'll see how it looks after this. I've had this fan for years and I often don't use it because it isn't quite the right color to fit with our home. I think it would look better if it was like an off-white or a white. So I'm gonna remove the base here and see if I can clean it up a bit and spray paint it with a white paint. So as I often do, I had a few mind changes as I was styling this shelf. 
I decided the door needed some words on it. I'm going to use some decor transfers. And I also ended up removing the little topiary tree on the left side. I was to Swiss Country Lawn and Crafts. I had a gift card that my parents had given me for Christmas. It is local to our area and I've never been there. This was the first time and I can't believe I've never stopped in before this. Pretty sure I'll be going back. But I should have taken some videos of the inside of the store. But I wasn't even in their outdoor section. They have a, a store with, you know, outdoor things and then they had this building with more of your you know home decor and just beautiful I was really impressed ended up finding some pretty tulips that I plan to use here on the shelf and I also found a larger topiary tree that I want to put on the floor and I also have a tray that I'm going to show in this video that I also found there uh, along with some pretty greens but if you're local here or traveling to the area make sure to check it out Swiss Country Lawn and Crafts it's on State Route 39. It's across the road from Provia. A lot of people know where that's at. I'm not sure that I ever showed this cute little antique stand that I picked up in one of our local antique malls. I think I only paid maybe $15 for it. I thought it was such a good price. It's really heavy duty. So here's the part in the video where I'm gonna paint chocolate. I know it sounds strange. I'd rather eat it, honestly. I love chocolate, it's uh, my weakness. So it was kind of hard for me to actually apply paint over these, but um, I don't need it, and I love the shape of these little bunnies, So I and I want them to be white, so I'm going to go ahead and paint them. Um, gave them about two to three coats. I wonder if any of you guys have ever done this. I will try to keep you updated. I'm kind of curious myself, like, will they hold out? Uh, could I even use them another year, you know, store them uh, somewhere that isn't, you know, too hot? And would they keep, you know, until next year? And of course this grouping isn't complete without a candle. This one is Lilac Blossoms. It smells so good. I can't wait to actually smell these on the outside soon, hopefully. So I want to have a light hanging above the sofa again. I took the one that I've had for years down recently and I'm going to replace it with this one. Found this in the shop and I think leaving it black is going to look okay being that the curtain rods are black along with the ceiling fan. Here is another new product that we're going to have on the Etsy shop. Our goal this year is to be adding lots of new products. So this is one of them. And these are wood. And they're going to have a design burned or laser engraved onto them. French country design. And here I'm using my laser engraver, the S1, to do this. And I do have affiliate links down below in the description box in case you're interested in investing in a laser engraver yourself. Um, it's life-changing or it has been for us. I've had so much fun with it. I'm still not finished with them. There's often a black residue around the image that was burned and rubbing alcohol works great to clean that up. I plan to use these hangers to hang some vintage book pages that one of you guys actually sent to me. Um, I am always just blown away how when I get things from you, which I always feel unworthy when I do, but I so appreciate it, but I'm always blown away how you know exactly what I like. There's a note included stating that these were found in a thrift store. I think a book might have been like falling apart and these are just the pages of it. And I think it'll go very well with the botanical poster hanging above the sofa.
I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. I mean, who knew you could incorporate hairspray and chocolate into decorations, right? So much fun. And again, make sure to check out those products on the Etsy shop. Sometimes they don't last long. And like I mentioned earlier, we are gonna be adding some new products as time goes on. And I'll be talking a lot about them in my videos. As always, I hope your day is going great. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.